to kind of get into for you know mockery of God in modern day America is recently Carl Jr.'s Diablo Burger that was on sale for six dollars and sixty six cents. Everybody knows the verse for six 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 Revelations. 13, 18, here's the wisdom. Let him who has understanding calculate the number of the beast, for it is the number of a man. His number is 666. So definitely super intentional. When I first saw it, I didn't believe it. I was coming off the freeway. I saw this big, huge billboard said the Diablo Burger, which just means it means the devil in Spanish. So devil burger for $6.66. And so I wanted to look into Carl's Jr. and its history and its owner and the company. And the more I dug, the more strange it was that this was even a thing. And I'll tell you why. Carl Karcher would have never done this burger. And we'll get into that. But first, let's go to the person who decided to. this would be a great idea. Um, and one of them was the VP of marketing, Anthony Nguyen. And he quotes, at Carl's Jr., we don't shy away from exciting, memorable flavors that keep guests coming back for more, said Carl's Jr., VP of brand marketing, Anthony Nguyen. Carl's Jr. fans have an insatiable taste in El Diablo. And for this, instead of saying the El Diablo, I'm just going to say the devil. Because I think sometimes the full meaning and impact gets lost in translation. So Carl's Jr. fans have insatiable taste and the devil answers their demand for something amazing. Sounds a little bit different now when you say it like that, doesn't it? This burger packs a flavor punch and has built a cult following over the years as our spiciest burger yet. We were eager to bring back this bold menu item with some fun and great deals. You spoke, we listened. This one is for the dedicated fans who reached out daily, and we can't wait for them to be reunited with the devil. You can't make this up. This was a quote from uh, Anthony Nguyen. He's the VP of brand marketing. So fans will want to get it before it's gone. El Diablo is packing the heat this summer, only available on the restaurant, the Carl's Jr. app. And they get an extra bonus if they use a single offer for a 666 The Devil single, along with access to other program exclusive offers and benefits. Um, just kind of wrapping that up. And this is on Carl's Jr.'s um, website. You can go and find this stuff for yourself. Um, and I found it relatively easy. And I was super surprised because when I started looking into Carl Karcher's life, I wonder if this would have even <laughs> gotten this far. And if I had to look at Carl Karcher's life and the way that he lived his life, this man was a man of faith, but he was also a man of action. He wasn't, it wasn't a, an actionless faith uh, to say the very least. So Carl Karcher, um, you know, he's the founder of Carl's Jr. and Hardy's fast food chains, and he was known for his strong Christian faith. So everybody knew this. He was a devout Catholic and often incorporated his religious beliefs into his business practices, which is kind of ironic now that people are taking his platform and now inserting their religious practices. Uh, which is something that I kind of want to get into and let people know. Look, if you're going to be a business owner and you're building a legacy or a dynasty, dynasty, if you're building a legacy or dynasty, know that there needs to be some clauses in there that prevents your platform, your blessing, from being turned into something that can be used for, for evil or for something that you would never, ever agree with. Um, and I think that, you know, this is a prime example of that happening. So 
to kind of, I want to kind of go into uh, a little bit about Carl Karcher. One thing about him is he received numerous awards for his philanthropy, um, including in 1979, the Horatio Alger Award. And this is for his distinction and accomplishments through individual in initiative, hard work, and adherence to traditional ideals. So the reason why I wanted to bring up the Horatio um, Alger Award, I hope I'm saying that right, is because this man got an award for having traditional ideals and his company is putting out the devil burger after, he, after he's you know gone and passed on. He was also a member of the Knights of Malta, which is a, a Catholic military order. In addition to that, he received uh, Pope John Twenty Third Award from uh, Italian Catholic Federation for best exemplifying benevolent, philosophical, and charitable principles. I don't see where the Devil Burger fits in that for principles. So. I started looking at this and I just want to go a little bit more on Carl Karcher because I really want to show you the character of this guy and, and who he was and kind of how his platform, his legacy of platform, you know, God obviously blessed Carl Karcher. He started with almost nothing. I believe it was a hot dog stand and he turned it into a multi-million, if not billion dollar enterprise and now it's being used for something that he would have never gave the nod on so Karcher was as I said a, a devout Catholic and an active member of the military order Malta and he attended mass daily at St. Boniface Catholic Church in Anaheim prior to going to work at his office so if you live in Anaheim on Harbor and Lincoln there is a Catholic church, and you can kind of see the Catholic church there uh, right before. You can see the Catholic church there, and the old headquarters for Carl's Jr. is down harbor about two miles. It would probably take five minutes or less to get there. So his main corporate office was right by the church, and he could leave, attend daily mass, come back and you know live his life the way that he wanted to live it um carl and margaret also had 12 children and the reason why i wanted to say this is one of them jerome t karcher is a priest in the roman catholic diocese of orange and also just like his father receiving a lot of accolades and awards for um, you know kind of living a certain type of life and i, I get into that received the man of character award from the Boy Scouts of America for founding Mercy House in Orange County for the homeless. So like father, like son, values instilled. And here we are, fast forward, Carl Karcher's brand and platform being used to pump poison to the masses. And just kind of really be disrespectful and, and disrespecting his legacy and yeah, I remember seeing Carl Karcher uh, his pictures not him personally when I would go in there when I was little I'd ride my skateboard to go get my mom some fried zucchini uh, with some ranch she used to really like that and I remember when you're waiting in line when I would go in there and you're waiting in line after you've paid you're waiting to pick up your order there's these pictures, things like that. And I remember seeing pictures of him and how he started and kind of like his story and claim the fame. Um, and I, I remember just looking at them, being interested in them and thinking like, oh, that's cool. He, he um, you know, he he started from nothing and and made his made himself into this big, you know, Carl's Jr. franchise. I didn't know it was a franchise when I was that young, but you can get the picture. So now we see that we have Carl's Jr. now incorporating, you know, satanic beliefs into their business practices. And again, 
men of faith, this is what happens when you don't write clauses into your legacies. They'll use your platforms and they'll pump poison. And I kind of want to share a verse with you in regards to this. So you know what's what moving forward. You know, it's always good to know what's what. You can kind of attach a tag to something and, and know what it is. And, and this one is from 1 John chapter 3, verses 8 through 10. And it says, the one who does what is sinful is of the devil. Because the devil has been sinning from the beginning. The reason the Son of God appeared was to destroy the devil's work. No one is born of God. No one who is born of God will continue to sin because God's seed remains in them. They cannot go on sinning because they have been born of God. This is how we know who the children of God are and who the children of the devil are. Anyone who does not do what is right is not God's child, nor is anyone who does not love their brother and sister. And the next verse, just kind of to kind of close it and bring it together, is Proverbs 2, verses 12 through 15. Wisdom will save you from the ways of the wicked men, from men whose words are perverse, who have left the straight paths to walk in dark ways, who delight in doing wrong and rejoice in the perverseness of evil. And I think you're going to really see that over and over again in today's podcast. Is you're going to see straight paths, that people who have left straight paths, and they're promoting dark ways. Their delight is in doing wrong, and they rejoice of perverseness. I mean, you saw the wordplay from the marketing VP and me being in marketing for, for several years and owning a small marketing company with my wife where we still do marketing to this day. One thing I can say is marketing people really know what we're doing. And there's a lot of undertone and end of window. There's a lot of intent that goes into marketing. So definitely saw the wordplay and knew it was intentional. If that was unintentional, that was the most coincidental, intentional, unintentional thing I have seen ever so far in my life. And, you know, when you start getting into these conversations with people, you start getting that weird, fuzzy response where they pretend like they don't know what's going on. And I don't think I'm grasping for straws here or, or putting in some, some type of conspiracy theory. It kind of is what it is at this point. Uh, we don't need to chase the devil or uh, create uh, what they call satanic panic, which we'll get into as well, because we can see that that word's kind of being abused right now, especially in today. But we can kind of see what's going on in modern day America what's going on in society, the, the, I mean, pretty much the crumbling of morals. And for some reason, since nobody, everybody wants to kind of deny Christianity, they sure do pump up the devil who's supposedly not real. There's a lot of energy going into that. So just kind of seems kind of odd to me.